Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands at six foot one inches. He weighed in at 250 pounds. He has a record of 11 and six. He knocked out Crow Cop, top level veteran, representing Team Link, Gabriel Napao Gonzaga. And fighting out of the red corner, standing at six feet tall. He weighed in at 260 pounds. He has a perfect record of six and zero. Oh, fighting out of Hartford, Connecticut. The up and coming from underdog BJJ Parker Porter. Look at him. They both are staring down the devil. I'm gonna be on my feet for this whole fight, John. I don't know about you. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. Here we go. We're heading inside the cage. Chris Stillwell, John Red Velvet Clark for the heavyweight title fight. Parker Porter and Gabriel Napoleon Gonzaga right here at Mohegan Sun. Let's get it going, John. Here we go. Nice jab by Gonzaga. Gonzaga circling to his left into the power hand of Parker. Big overhand right by Gonzaga. Gonzaga staying to the outside. He's trying to set up that left hand, see if he can put it right on Parker's chin. Nice job by Parker controlling the center so far. I told you, man, this kid, he's got nothing to lose. Parker standing toe to toe with him. Parker's throwing great quick punches. Parker's doing a good job of keeping his hands up. Gonzaga seems to be looking for some timing here. Nice left hook by Gonzaga. Got right in the eye of Parker. Parker's right eye's already swelling up off that jab. Yep. Or off the, rather the hook, rather. Well, Gonzaga's got ham hocks. He hits hard, but look at those hands coming from Parker Porter. I'll tell you what, he'll put it on you. And he's the last guy you want to hit and hurt, because all you're going to do is piss him off. I'll tell you what, man. Parker's doing a great job keeping that right hand up. Every time he throws the left, he's keeping the right up. Look at him. He's got some good boxing training. He hit Gonzaga with a nice right hand there, stepped him back. Gonzaga appears to be a little bit taller. A little bit taller, not much bigger though, John. Now Gonzaga circles to his right, away from the power hand of, of uh, Parker Porter. I'll tell you what, Parker, oh, great body shots from Parker, two huge shots to the rim nice of Gonzaga. Nice right hand to the body from Parker Porter, and then coming right upstairs and a big right hand from Gonzaga. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, Parker is not scared of this guy at all, and that is fantastic. That's the only issue that you could think coming into a fight like this is the reputation of one Gabriel Gonzaga. No Parker's way. Parker's going at him like he doesn't care. No way. You're Parker Porter. you got nothing to lose, everything to gain here. Absolutely. This is your fight to win. If you lose, everyone thinks you're supposed to lose. You win, you're a hero. And you still keep your title. That's the best part about it, Johnny. Nice leg kick Ooh. by Gonzaga. That's that going to get him thinking. That landed solid. Well, Gonzaga's going to start with those leg kicks to do what he should be doing, which is setting up a takedown. Now, we know Gonzaga's main weakness is the fact that he doesn't use those takedowns on the ground right game like he should. And a left hand by uh, Parker Porter. Absolutely, but if Gonzaga... And the face of Gonzaga is starting to redden. Yep, and Parker Porter's not going to let Gonzaga take it out easy. I mean, he's not going to go to the ground with him. He's going to keep it standing and keep putting it on him as long as he can. As long as he can, that's the key. Nice inside leg kick by Gonzaga. Ooh, took a nice shot to the, to, to the uh, wedding tackle, right. as you say, John. He right in the jewels. Yeah, he hit him right in the twigs and the berries, Johnny. That's it. Now, uh, you know, they're going to give Parker a little bit of time to, to uh, rest up here. Take a second. They got to go to a neutral corner. He's got corner. up to five minutes, but Parker doesn't need it. Takes no. about 25 seconds. Not only does he not need it, he doesn't want it. He wants to get back in there. He wants to use that rage. He wants to use that anger, and he wants to put it in Gonzaga's face. Parker's controlling the center of the cage so far. Really nice with that jab. Nice leg kick again by Gonzaga. Parker doesn't seem to like those. Parker's got to start checking those leg kicks, or it's really going to start hurting him. Remember, this is a five-round fight. I don't know if it's going to make it that long, but it is a five-round fight, John. Heavyweights going five rounds is a rare occurrence, but we'll see what happens here. Yeah, I actually cannot these, remember the last time I saw a heavyweight These two round. guys are so heavy-handed, I'd be surprised. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And not to mention the submission skills of both these gentlemen are really off the charts. I'm telling you, if Parker can start closing the distance and using that footwork a little bit better. Nice right I, hand I, by Gonzaga. I think Parker can start closing the distance, using the footwork a little bit better. He can start planting that jab. Great combination from Parker there, but he's really got to start leading with that jab. He ate a body kick for his troubles. If you're a Parker here, how are you going to get inside on Gonzaga, John? Well, you just got to keep working. I mean, he's controlling the center. I mean, 
Gonzaga's doing a good job of covering. Every time Gonzaga covers like that, I mean, you're wearing MMA gloves. You're not wearing boxing gloves. If I'm Gonzaga, if I'm Parker, every time he covers, I go to the body and go right upstairs, and I take a little half a step closer. You know, it's pretty interesting to see how good, oh, Gonzaga went for that Miracle Cro Cop head kick right there. Pretty, pretty heavy right there. I mean, it'd be crazy if we saw two head kick knockouts in the same night, but we'll see how that ends up working out. I'm like, I want to see Parker Porter keep using that jab. He seems to be effective with that jab, but that leg kick is killing him. It he seems, has it to seems start like checking Gonzaga's it. leg kick is really starting to eat away at Parker. Look at him locking that front leg out, man. He might be losing control of that, the, the big quad and, there. Oh, whoa, you got to watch out, too, because Gonzaga's the type of guy who'll play possum. He'll back up against the fence. He'll catch you in a submission. Or what he's going to do is he's going to eat away at that front leg and throw a high kick up at your head, just like you did to Krokop. Absolutely. There you go. Well, he also used that ground and pound on Krokop for about four minutes with those elbows to the face before he stood up and put him out. So as long as Parker doesn't head to the ground with him. Oh, great shot. Scott threw with a left hand there. Another and big comes kick up. by Gonzaga. Absolutely. Huge kick by Gabriel Gonzaga. Parker Another has one. to check those kicks. His, when he goes into the, the, the end of the round here in this Parker. corner in about five seconds, they need to tell him to start checking that kick because if he doesn't, this fight's going to be over a lot quicker yeah, than Parker's we expect. Parker's front leg is hurt, man. He Every time, every time uh, Gonzaga looks at it, he starts the buckle. You know that was a little interesting, John. There, yeah, we had we had a little bit of a miscommunication with the uh, refs there. Um, you know what I mean? They they went about 30 seconds over the time limit there. Who's ringing the bell there? Is that Kip Kohler? Yeah, so we just wanted to uh, give them a heads up over there, but that, that round went about five minutes and 30 seconds. Pretty interesting, you know, to see a fight go like that. I haven't actually ever seen that before, John. How about yourself? I've seen it, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, I've been on the receiving end of that. Well, I'll tell you what. How, how would you think about that first round, John? Break that down for me. I got to tell you, man, it's so even. I mean, if you're talking about, like, damage done or ring generalship, I mean, was Parker controlling the center? Yes. But was Gabriel doing the most damage with that right leg kick? Without a doubt. I mean, I, it, I would have to give it to Gonzaga 10-9, but... You know, you, you can't leave these types of things up to the judges. And, and to clarify, that 10-9 is due to the damage done from the leg kicks, John? Roger that. Okay. Look for Gonzaga to now throw leg, kicks, leg if, kicks and then go upstairs. If you see Russell Leak in the corner of Parker Porter said to him twice, do not let him keep landing that leg kick. Do not let him keep landing that I, leg kick. I think kick. he's going to throw it a couple more times and then go upstairs. Well, I'll tell you what. As soon as he tries to go upstairs, I think Parker's going to put a right hand on him, and I don't think he's going to be too happy about that. But we'll see what happens. Gonzaga knows that kick's working. Gonzaga looks in good shape. Uh, Parker uh, Parker's throwing those hands good, but he's not getting them back up to his face as quick as I'd like. And I don't want to see Gonzaga end up putting one on him. Parker caught him with that kick quicker there. Not checking it, but coming to the inside instead. So it worked out a little bit better for him. Inside leg kick now by Gonzaga. He's just tearing up that front leg. Yeah, and you believe he's using this to set up the head kick? I do. Well, he's been known for that, so it's a pretty good call. The way I'm looking at it at this point is that first round goes to Gonzaga. Unless Parker starts che uh, checking that leg kick, it's going to be a long second round for him. Good footwork by both these guys here. Oh, oh, absolutely. It really shows that a guy like Parker Porter, a 27-year-old kid, really has fantastic footwork, fantastic groundwork. And, I mean, this kid really knows what he's doing, and he's a young guy. Yeah. And a good combination on Gonzaga there. Gonzaga, good defense, though. And, yeah, but Parker hit him with a good body shot there to the stomach, so that was actually a pretty good punch. We were talking right about hand by earlier. Gonzaga. There's the head kick I talked about. He had no balance on that one, though. Had he even come close to landing with that one, he would have ended up on his butt. Nice leg kick again by Gonzaga. He's really tearing that front leg up. You can already see how red that front leg is, and now he attacks it with the takedown. And he goes for the head kick right afterwards, so he's definitely hunting Parker on this one. I mean, really, I'm very surprised at this situation. Gonzaga seems to have a superior game plan here. He does, but you also got to think about the experience factor, John. This guy's been fighting in the UFC for four years very, now. He's very patient. He's doing a great job at avoiding Parker Porter. He's doing a great job at not expending his energy. These are the type of fights he would lose in the UFC. Here in reality fighting, he's actually using this skill because it's a five-round fight to go a little bit longer. But he got rocked there by one Parker Porter. The question is, is he baiting him? Parker needs to keep his hands up at this point. I mean, I, I think Gonzaga's been hit by, uh, by, 
Trying to hit a little harder than Parker. Not sticking anything away from Parker because I think Parker's a stud, but well, Shane Parker Carlin. Now, with the right, now with the right hand on Gonzaga's elbow. Well, Shane Carlin and Junior Dos Santos both put it on both put it on Gonzaga. So we'll see how he can handle his shots from one Parker Porter. Great, great left hand from Parker there. I, I think Gonzaga doesn't know what to do with Parker right now. Big right hand by Gonzaga. I, I don't think either. You know, I think I think Parker definitely needs to keep watching for that head kick, though. I told you he was going to start throwing that right hand as soon as that kick landed, John. Gonzaga's now, his mouth is wide open. He looks like he's starting to breathe heavy. Oh, yeah. Well, he's taking shot. Look at that. He took a great left hand, great right hand from Parker. Parker needs to keep his composure. Nice body shot again by yep. Parker with the right hand. But Parker's got to keep that right hand up and keep that composure. See if he's going to be able to stay away from that head kick of Gonzaga because you know Gonzaga keeps looking for it. If you see him, he's stepping forward, stepping forward, going for that kick, John. See it? Gonzaga looks like he might be the more winded guy in there. Right oh, now. absolutely. He's taking more punches than Parker Porter. I mean, this is the complete opposite from the first round. Going for that kick again to the leg. Yeah, you can clearly see he's going for that kick to the leg. He's going to be stepping back for it. Look at that right hand from Parker Porter straight up the pipe right at Gonzaga. When Parker moves in on Gonzaga and he backs him in with the left hand and Gonzaga moves to his left, to get off the cage, that's where Parker wants to throw the big right. See, that's he hasn't what, doing. He's not doing it. And that's why I love sitting here with you, John, because you're able to break things like that down for us, and it makes it a lot easier watching these fights having somebody like you decoding that for us. If I were Gonzaga, I'd be looking for a takedown. I, if I, it looks like Gonzaga's looking for a way out. To tell you the truth, at this point, he doesn't even want to fight Parker. I mean, look, his arms are more red than any other part of his body. I'm not sure about that. I mean, there's a chance Gonzaga be using his experience to to set him up, but. Gonzaga definitely needs to take control of this cage and, uh, and potentially look for a takedown. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. Uh, I mean, I didn't think this fight was going to make that out of the first round. Now you see these guys just blasting away at each other. I mean, this is really, I mean, this is what we're paying for, John. This is why everybody's here tonight. The conditioning is phenomenal by the big guys. So about to be in the third round. See, that's where if I'm Gonzaga, I want to put this guy on a cage and I want to work some inside or outside leg trips, some jujitsu takedowns, landing, you know, in side cross or, you know, potentially in, in, you know, in half guard and, and do some, some ground work. I mean, that's clearly where Gonzaga has the advantages on the ground here. The thing is, though, it's been a uh, career flaw of Gonzaga throughout his entire time in mixed martial arts that he doesn't use that ground game to the to the necessary effect that he could, John. You know what I mean? And that's something that's been a criticism, criticism of him in the past. I'll tell you what, at this point, I'm looking at it one round to one. How about you? I'll tell you, I mean, it's, it's definitely a close fight. And Parker's not stopping. He doesn't care. Parker does not seem to give a damn. No, it's absolutely fantastic. John, I'm sure we're going to bring up a, a replay. How about you walk us through this? Gonzaga looks winded. I'll tell you the truth. I mean, Parker looks fresh as a daisy. Gonzaga's mouth is wide open. He looks a little bit tired. Parker looks fresh as a daisy. You know, in, the in the corner of uh, Gabriel Gonzaga, you know, is always Marco Alvin. You know, he's the mastermind over there at Team Link. And, uh, you know, he's probably giving, giving Gonzaga some good advice. I'll tell you, sometimes what happens is when you're a guy like Gabriel Gonzaga and you go from fighting for world championships in the UFC down to, you know, you take a little bit step back, you know, when, uh, you know, you, uh, you suffer a few losses in your career. You take a little step back, and you know you, you you take a dip down, and you know what some seem to be a dip down in competition, which clearly is not here in reality fighting. <laughs> Absolutely, you sometimes not. have a tendency to underestimate your opponent. And Parker Porter is a freaking killer. This kid's a monster. I'll tell you what. I've known this kid for 12 years. He's an here animal. He's been playing football his whole life, and when he got into fighting, he was 360 pounds. The kid has lost over 100 pounds, is a certified personal trainer, teaches Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and mixed martial arts out in, in uh, Hartford at Underdog Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It's his life. He's just like you, Johnny. Lives, he breathes, eats, sleeps mixed martial arts. He's the next up and coming. He's the next level. And I don't know if Gonzaga's got an answer for him tonight. I don't know if Gonzaga's waiting on something, trying to catch some timing. Oh, there's the head kick I talked about. Great block from Parker, though. Yep, without a doubt. This might be where we see Gonzaga open up a little bit. We'll see what happens. Well, I'll tell you what, the head move. Oh, Parker Porter took a nice shot there. He's not, he's, he's definitely on Queer Street. And a right hand by, by Parker. Yep. Parker was a little shook off that, off that uh, right by Gonzaga, though. He definitely took a little bit of a shot there. Oh, Parker's down. He's back up. Oh, he's Parker's a little bit wobbly, trouble. and he Parker goes for the takedown. in big trouble here. We'll see how take he does here. Gonzaga. Gonza Gonzaga's got the mouth. This is Gonzaga's this is world. Problem. This is Gonzaga's world. 
Parker needs to roll. Great job. Nice pit now, close by Gonzaga. Parker, Parker, uh, Parker Parker's needs, in Parker trouble. Needs to roll. There you go. And if Parker keeps rolling, he keeps moving here. Gonzaga's not going to be able to do anything to him. This is a problem. For Parker, Parker needs to get back up. Oh, this Par is a problem Parker, for Parker needs to stand back up. Parker needs to get back off the cage and get back up. Parker needs to buck his hips and try to sweep a leg at Gonzaga because Gonzaga's not doing damage here. There you go, Parker. That might not have been the right decision, John. It depends. What are you doing in this situation if you're Parker Porter? You got to try and bring one knee to your chest and remove one hook like you just did. And now you're just going right in the mount, and you do not want to be mounted by the tractor trailer that is Gabriel Gonzaga. Gabriel Gonzaga going for the head arm choke, and he taps the right. out. Wow, that was absolutely incredible. That fight is the epitome of why we have reality fighting here in Connecticut. Awesome fight. You know, it was absolutely a fantastic fight. I mean, I can't even tell you, John, that's exactly what we're looking for tonight. We want the local boy to win, but at the same time, that's why these guys come in here. That's why they fight. That's what happens. It was a huge step up in competition for Parker Porter. He showed he could stand and bang with Gabriel Gonzaga, but as we both knew, that black belt jiu-jitsu, that Brazilian-bred Mundell champion is what ended up coming out at the end.